One of the challenges that I think we're going to face with consent to the use of stem cells and tissues is that as science progresses, we are able to use cells in ways that we perhaps didn't envisage five or 10 or, or 20 years ago. Stem cells are obviously a hugely valuable resource that we want to continue to use. And yet, if I were a donor of tissue, I wouldn't want people to be coming back to me every day to say, well, what about this and this and this? Um, so I think we have to start to understand the use of human tissue in a way that's not about necessarily individual consent to every possible use, because that would just be burdensome. We need to think more about do we trust scientists in general to be doing the right things, to be doing good research that's going to make lives better with the tissue that we might have donated. And we need to think not only do we trust scientists, but what does it take for scientists to be trustworthy? The issue of consent for not just human tissue research, so what we call biomaterials, uh, but also for things like data or genetic information, I think is one that we're, we're still very much considering as a difficult issue. How do we ensure that people have enough control over the uses of their tissue and data? How do we ensure that people are protected? How do we ensure that important science can go ahead, but in an ethical way? Various models have been proposed. Uh, so, for example, um, the idea of a blanket consent, where you might just authorise uh, all forms of research is one. Another would be to have a general consent, but with specific exceptions. So perhaps I just don't like the idea of my cells being used to, to grow brain organoids. I could say, well, I don't want that particular application. Um, another is, is dynamic consent, where the terms of what has been agreed to continue to be, to be discussed and negotiated. I think I would very much like to see a model of broad consent but with ongoing governance and oversight. So while I don't necessarily want to be asked about every experiment that is done with my tissue, I do want to know that the right sort of experiments are being done. That if perhaps the wrong sort of experiment were proposed, that there would be someone there, there would be some mechanism in place by which that could be flagged. And so perhaps a, a model of governed consent where each individual tissue donor consents, but there are procedures in place to checks and balances, I suppose, on what uses can be put, what uses that tissue can be put to. Sure.